And this shows the states of the flashlight. Very simple example. The, the flashlight has two states, on and off. And you can see the transitions, the triggers that transition from the off state to the on state. We use have an on signal will take you from off to on, and an off signal will trigger you from on to off. Very simple state machine. But the other thing the state machine says is that the produce directed light function occurs in the on state. Clearly doesn't happen in the off state. Again, these state machines can be a very powerful representation for complex systems showing all the different states and all the different behaviors that are enabled in different states. So let's look at this produce directed light on the next slide. And that's what you're looking at here. So this is an activity diagram for produce directed light that shows the next level of decomposition of those functions or actions in SysML speak. Uh, and these are the different actions that are performed by the different parts of the system. So the, the battery performs, uh, generate the power, and uh, you know the, the, the switch switches the power, etc. And these are the inputs and the outputs. Those are the same inputs and outputs that showed up on the earlier black box view where all we had was produce directed light in conjunction with the user functions and the environment functions. So what you're seeing is a drill down flowing from higher level down to lower level in the model. And in more complex systems, there may be several levels of this drill down. 